I have a new tip that I wanted to share with you today about toxic language. This whole month we're going to be talking about your communication, how you communicate, how you uh, come across, how you perceive. That's why I'm wearing this t-shirt. I thought it was appropriate. You lost me at hello. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? Like you start a conversation, whether it's on the phone or in person, this could be an internet lead, this could be open house lead, this could be an expired or Facebook, doesn't matter. And you just start off wrong. It just doesn't feel right. It's off. You don't click with the person and it takes a very short amount of time, sometimes less than a second for you to either build a nice strong first impression where the connection and trust is being developed or it just falls apart, it gets derailed, and it's almost impossible at times to put it back on track, to reconnect with that person. So uh, today I wanted to share with you uh, three words that are actually pushing people away. They're, they're crushing your business, destroying your business, and you, you, you're getting hurt by them. So here they are. Pay attention if you're using these words. Here's the first one. Do you use this word? when you talk to somebody on the phone or in person. The word just, just. It softens, it diminishes the impact of your communication. Let me give an example. Let's say you have a seller lead and you follow up with them. You get them on the phone, he says, hey Mark, this is Barino with uh, Barino Real Estate. Just wanted to follow up with you. It kind of feels like, well, why are you wasting my time? Why are you calling me? What's the point of this if you just, that little word, drops the impact of that phrase. Just wanted to follow up, just wanted to touch base, just wanted to see. It's a small thing, but remember, the devil is in the details. This small thing can make a huge difference whether you're perceived as a high status, confident agent, or a weak, wannabe, needy, desperate agent who needs a listing. So, word number one you're gonna drop out of your vocabulary is just, okay? That's the first one. The second word you're going to drop out of your vocabulary is this one. Say it. Sorry. Sorry. We use it a lot. Sorry to bother you. Sorry this. Sorry that. Don't be sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You your job is to help people, to help them through a very complicated and difficult situation, which is to sell or buy a house, to move, to get through this. And yes, there are occasions where things get tough and there are emotions going on and there is stress and there is tension and things sometimes go sideways. But unless you really want to apologize, don't use that word. Just like with the word just, it diminishes the impact of your communication, it lowers your status, it lowers the perception of your power and your confidence. Stop using the word sorry unless you're really sorry. Okay? Word number one, number two, out. And let me give you the third one. The third word that's a toxic language that pushes business away, creates a weak, strong impression, and is not helping you, and you should drop it, is this one. I. I think. I want. I this. I that. Stop that. Especially at the beginning of the relationship, when you're prospecting, when you're encountering FISBO or expired or any high probability lead at the first time. They're focusing on what? On themselves. It's all about them. Make it about them. Talk about them. If you want to use a phrase that includes you and them as you create a sense of we're in this together, say the word we. We, th we should do this. Let's do that. Us together. But don't be so self-centered talking about I. So drop these three words. Sorry, just, and I. And watch how your communication will improve. How are you gonna feel better? How you feel more confident, more in control. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of things that will help you improve your communication. How do you get better? How do you pay attention to these little details? And I mean, if you really think about it, simple little words, can they really make that much difference? Of course they do. Of course they do. It's the first impression, first communication at the beginning that can make all the difference. So yes, they do make a difference. So the first thing you gotta do is start paying attention. Pay attention to the way you write emails, you text, you talk to somebody that you meet at an open house, or door knocking, or prospecting, or on the phone. Just pay attention to the words you use, the phrases you use, and ask yourself, do I really sound like a high status agent? Do I come across as confident, competent counselor and advisor, or am I just another salesperson? So pay attention to your language because it gives away who you think you are and how you're perceived. 
See, many times I get clients, I get people come to my seminars or come to my workshops who say, well, I feel confident. I know the market. I care about people. I want to help. And I know you do. And I know you guys, you my rock stars, you're genuine about it. I get that. But the point is not what you think or what you believe or what you feel, but how you perceived. How the prospects, the clients, the sellers perceive you. That's the most important part. Because that's really what matters. Perception is reality. So become aware. That's step one. Step two, start practicing. And if you haven't signed up, as a matter of fact, let me show you the URL. Come join me. I'm doing a free role play session. We're going to practice this. You and I, we get on the phone with a group of agents and we're going to try different things. Icebreakers, how to break ice, start a friendly conversation. How to open up so that people feel comfortable with you. How to start conversations that create very little of any resistance. How to handle objections, how to follow up with people, what to talk about, and how to get more appointments using bridging. It's going to be a safe environment. Just a few people on the phone will talk and we'll practice it. So here's the URL if you haven't signed up. Hop on listuniversity.com slash roleplay. Fill out the form. We're going to send you a phone number. You're going to call in on Saturday. It's going to be this Saturday, July 9th at noon Eastern time. And we're going to go for about an hour, hour and a half. Nothing for sale, no big pitches or anything. Just a cool little role play where we can practice. Normally I charge a lot of money. I don't really do much one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore. I do the boot camps, but other than that, these are few opportunities where we can work one-on-one. -on -one. We can analyze what you do well and what needs improvement. So that's number two. Number one, become aware. Number two, uh, practice. And then number three, use this little gadget. Now, this is a high-end professional Zoom. This is H1 that's about $100 pocket digital recorder. Now, I don't want you to use an app on the phone. I want you to actually get a dedicated recorder because this way, if an inbound call comes in, you hit one button and you record yourself. If you're prospecting, you record yourself. If you're uh, role-playing, like the session on Saturday, record yourself. Because what you think you sound like, and what you actually sound like may be two very different things. Now, I guarantee you, there are certain things you already do well. There are certain things that you already uh, communicate well that make you unique and different. But maybe one of two things, one or two things that you need to work on, that you need to improve. This little gadget will help you tremendously. This was a big eye opener for me. When I got uh, my first recording, and I go way back, this was still micro because that's not a digital one like this one. But when I first got one and I listened to my first sessions, you know, role play sessions and phone calls, holy cow, oh, I need a glass of wine just to get through it. It was pretty brutal. But also human nature, you know, you focus on your flaws before you focus on what you're doing well. So don't do that. Look at it from both perspectives. But a little gadget like that, even after a few sessions, will help you determine, are you using any toxic language? Are you connecting with people? Do you really listen to the conversation? So are you in your head, ahead of the conversation, just trying to come up with an answer or to say something else? Where are you in your communication? So this will help you. And of course, come join us on Saturday for about an hour, hour and a half of role plays. It's going to be interesting because you're going to have two opportunities to learn. One, of course, is if you jump on the phone with me, and that's why I do it on the phone. That's why it's not a webinar. So it gives you a chance to actually try things where uh, I can start being an agent first, and then we can flip, and you can be the agent. I have cat's hair in my eye. <laughs> Sheila, thanks, girl. <laughs> so you're going to try it from two points, but also you're going to hear other people. And you're going to pay attention to what works and what doesn't. Because very often, you know how you don't notice certain things in yourself, but it's very obvious when somebody else does that. So you're going to hear different agents. Do they come across as confident or nervous? High status, low status. Do they speak too fast or speak too slow? Do they sound natural or does it feel like they're reciting a script? By the way, I never want you to memorize scripts. I'm not a big fan of that. You want to have a, a dialogue outlines that you follow where you know what to say, but it's not a scripted, memorized, robotic way of communicating with people. I don't think that ever worked and definitely doesn't work today with the sophisticated, educated consumers we have. All right, guys. So here's the URL one more time for you. Uh, listuniversity.com slash roleplay. That's going to be this Saturday, July 9th. If you're watching this on a replay or on the video, and of course, time has passed, but I do these coachings a lot. So hop on Real Estate Rockstars and check it out. We're going to do more of these, obviously, more videos, more cool streams, and more tips for you. So you're going to get a lot more leads this summer. You're going to have a good, productive summer. You're going to pick up a lot of good listings. There's plenty of business out there. And you're going to help a lot of people and, of course, make more money. Because bottom line is this, you want to run a profitable business where the commissions matter, the dollars matter. All right, friends, hope you enjoyed this tip. Coach Borino signing off from the Borino Worldwide Marketing Headquarters. I'll talk to you real soon. I'll talk to you on Saturday, as a matter of fact. So go sign up. 
We'll talk soon. Bye, everybody. Have a terrific afternoon.